In this session, we are going to talk about variables. Variables are dynamic values that can be used throughout the application. Variables come from results of uh, tasks or jobs, or also could be methods that you can use to calculate or transform any string that you may have. To open and view all variables, you go to the server tab and click on the variables button. This will open the variables window where you see a tree view of all categories that are available in variables. We will look at some variables that you can use. If you look, look at the functions here, we have a string to lower. And you can see the whole variable here. The variable consists of a category, an inner method, and the string that you insert. The format of these variables can vary, but you will see how to use it down here. You just replace the string with your string. And the value will be previewed, can be previewed in real time in the value preview field. So you are able to enter any value at real time to see it here. You're also able to use some variables in other variables. For example, if we look at uh, this left method here, you can copy this one and go to the to lower. We replace the string here with the other variable. And you will see that the left function takes four characters here and then put it all to lower. So this way you can combine variables. We'll take a look at some date variables. For example, date format. The date format variable allows you to use the current date and display it in any format you like. For example, if you want to add the current date to a file, you can easily create the format you like here. Remember that you can't use, for example, colons in your file. So maybe you just want to use date here. Uh, and you can also change this if you are using another regional setting. Maybe you want the month there, that end. Also, if you want to add seconds and uh, minutes, that's here, you can do like this. You can also get the week, the current week. And also you can calculate with uh, the current date. So if you want to add 10 days to current date, this is the number of days. And this, this is the format. So you can change the format all the time. And if you want to subtra subtract uh, a, a number of days, you can use the minus sign here in front of it. And this, we have a, a lot of functions here using the current date, but you can also specify your own date. And at the end here, as before, you can change the format all the time. And you also change the format of the in date here because you may have a special format here that you want to use. We're going to take a look at the Vichicron variables. These are the variables that point to uh, existing jobs, triggers, etc. And you can use this information to retrieve data from one job and use it in another place. And if you expand this node Vichicron variables, it will take some seconds before it loads all jobs. And um, you will see first a list of jobs here. You can expand the job and you will see the different uh, triggers and tasks that belongs to this job and 
below this node you will see different kind of val values here for example you can get the name of that job which group it belonged to the exit code how it ended the last time you ran it when it was created etc etc then you can go into tasks and then this uh, this job has one uh, SQL task we expand it we can see what kind of task type it is which order it is in the task listing and the exit code of that one if it had any output the last time we'll see that this is the last output output you that was created the current status the last result then depending on test type there are different kind of specific variables for example you can see the connection string which connection it, it is using right now the query etc and some variables here are only existing at runtime but you can see the different kind of variables can be accessed right now for testing there are also some variables that only exist at runtime which is even more dynamic so for example if you want to create a generic variable if you look at this variable for example you see that this part is pointed to the task ID well if you want to for example create a notification you want to create an email notification and in the body you want to use the task name but the problem is that you want, don't want to exactly hard code to specific uh, task ID then you can use the active flag and that is pointing to the current task and that that means that you can reuse the notification and always point to the current task there are also another variable called prev task which is pointing to the previous task that was run so if you are you have two tasks in your job and you are at the second task and you want to get the name from the first task you can write prev task here and it will always point to the previous task and also we have last task and that could be if you are in the job and you want to get information from the last task that was run maybe some error code information because you're going to use this in a email notification which gives the actual error to you then you want to know which was the last task that was run and which kind of error did it have then you can use the last task variable we're going to create an example how to use variables in real life we are prepared in a SQL task here which uh, which returns this output now we want to write this output to file and maybe we want to add some dates to it every time this uh, this task is being run so in this case we create a new task and we want to use a file write task and uh, task log is the name of it and we want to append to that file so you open we click on the variables window here which opens this window and first maybe we want to add some um, some dates to the variables so we first add this one and we want to add a job name and then we can use the active flag here to get the job name 
as you can see as we are in in a job right now it's resolving the job name with the active flag and we want to add the, the task output and we want to add the, the previous task output so if you copy this one here we can just change it to priv, priv task and add it here and then we'll click OK here we can add a description this one So now the sorting is uh, wrong here, but first uh, this uh, SQL task is being run, and then we have the add log task being run after that. So we run this job, it has completed, and we open up. We have this task log here. And we see that we, we got the time here, we got the job name, and we got the task output. Close this one, run it again, open a task log. These, these values are the same, but the time is different here. So this is an example how to use the variables. We want to thank you for listening to this session. If you have any further questions, please uh, post in the forum or contact support directly. Thank you.